It has come to my attention uh, recently when pictures of uh, the governor of Kakamega, Honorable Weekly Ambassador of Paranya, consulting with the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency William Samuel Ruto. I've had uh, the privilege of uh, uh, listening to some of the real leaders castigating Oparanya. Some have been calling him, telling him that I took a wrong move to consult with the Deputy President, saying all manner of things. And I want to say this. Oparanya is a seasoned economic planner. This country was doing very well when Oparanya was Minister for Economic Planning. It is the meticulous planning that will assist the government implement tangible projects that will can improve the life of the Kenyan people. Oparanya is a seasoned politician. Oparanya has been a member of parliament for very many years. He has been governor of Kakamega for five years. And he is a person whom we as the community will look forward to. For advice, for direction, and even we read his body language. So I want to tell these very many people who have been saying that uh, Oparanya is making a mistake by consulting, that they are very wrong, and where Oparanya sees economically in terms of planning, they will never see, even when they are standing on top of Mount Elgon. What ails this country is this notion of uh, people reading too much when they see somebody, one Kenyan, consulting with the, with the other Kenyan. I, as a member of parliament for Kimberley constituency, as you all know, I'm one of the... Kimberley constituency is one of the constituencies in this country that has managed the CDF very well and we've built so many schools. This has been possible because there is no single project proposal for every year that as a constituency we have afforded to Nairobi without using my friendship with Oparanya and uh, besieging Oparanya to go through our proposal. So Oparanya himself knows that we have, 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 have I as did as Wekesa Barasa and the people of Kimili constituency, the far we've come from, we are actually a product of consultation. Oparanya himself, the far he has come from, from being a civil servant, to being a member of parliament, to being one of the, not one, being the best performing governor in this country, himself is a product of consultation. So consultation improves the way someone looks at things. And we should not be quick to run and begin to crucify somebody who is doing consultation. I, together with Oparanya, we have met some two or three sitting presidents of some three African countries outside of this country. So I know Oparanya is one man who consults far and wide. And uh, Kenya as a country, we went through the first step of uh, self-rule, where we chased the British from this country. We won the first war. The second war that we must win as a country is to go beyond these stupid myths that when you see somebody meeting another Kenyan, then you begin to read too much and you create hula balloons that are neither here nor there. We we'll want to see until we reach a level where you see even a, even a judge of the High Court having tea with an MCA, having tea with a member of parliament, without us even reading too much because we are members of the same society. We come from the same society. We have created a situation where even a, <laughs> an investigator, when he goes somewhere to have tea, is looking around who is available. Because next day they will say, he was seen in a hotel 
with so and so, with so and so. We have faced a situation where judges of the high court and magistrates, when they go to have tea, even to do a supermarket, they are coy about uh, whom they should whom they, they, they should shake hand with, because they are the next day you will see a story on the newspaper. So that matter of Kenyans creating stories when two people are spotted in a hotel taking tea, consulting, is something which as a country we must overcome. If we do not overcome such things, then Kenya will continue to be where we are for very many years to come. What these people who are discouraging Oparanya are doing, you know, they are peace bodies. One, they are peace bodies. Two, they are very naive, they are cowards, you know, and what they want to do is to instill fear in Oparanya from continuing with the consultation. And you know, fear is a, a very small channel, uh, a very small uh, channel of, uh, of, uh, of a surface runoff that when we encourage it and listen to it every time, it will graduate into a very big and very huge river that will erode and wash away all your vision, all your plans, and all your good things. So he should not encourage uh, himself to be lower to that level. Oparanya is the deputy party leader of uh, one of the biggest parties in, this, in Eastern Central Africa called ODM. And uh, a person of such level, you don't expect that uh, you will, uh, he will see people like uh, anybody and run away from. He will discuss with them. So we should stop. We should stop uh, discouraging people who are engaged in consultation. Even me, I'm doing consultation, both locally and internationally consultation to improve my leadership skills, consultation to improve my, my, the position that I will want to occupy in the next government. Of course, you see, uh, first you have to form the government in your mind before you go out to actualize. So when we are doing this consultation, these are part of forming the government in our, on our mind. We will remove the government from our mind, put it on the piece of paper in the name of manifesto, in the name of a plan, then you go ahead and you form government. This is how government is formed. Government is not formed by certain characters waiting somewhere uh, to be endorsed or to be given positions. Government is formed. So when you uh, want to encourage uh, Governor Oparanya, there is a person whom the Mlembe Nation looks up for. We are watching his moves. He should do proper consultation. He is the deputy party leader of ODM. And that cannot stop him from either acting in, on his own behalf or acting on behalf of Raila in doing consultation. You know, when you are uh, in a big party, you know that uh, you don't lock out anybody who wants to support you. You don't lock out anybody who is coming to you for cons consultation. Because through consultation, you will also uh, be able to understand how the other part of the country is thinking and is planning. Because we are all working together and working very hard to be able to, to improve the governance of this country going forward. Fair enough. But I want